Structural insulated panels offer a potential solution to New Zealand's housing crisis by providing energy efficient and highly prefabricated buildings and research at Brands is aimed at finding out more about them. I'm Anna and I've set up a project to look at how structural insulated panels, SIPs, perform in New Zealand under our climate and in the case of an earthquake or fire. Our project team is made up of experts in material science, structural engineering and fire safety. I'm David. SIPs are made of two outer skins and they have an inner insulating core of rigid foam. SIPs can be used as roof, wall and floor elements in buildings. They've been used overseas for many decades, but there is still yet some information we need to be gathering about them to be able to use them in the New Zealand context. At the moment, getting consent for a SIPs building isn't always straightforward. It can be difficult for council officials who are unfamiliar with SIPs to assess their compliance with the building code, and building owners might also find it difficult to navigate through all the extra processes. So our research will support the development of a more simplified consenting process that will be of benefit to everybody. The Durability Workstream is developing a method to assess the long-term performance of SIPs in New Zealand's climate. We're using climate chambers to accelerate the ageing process of SIPs under a range of temperature and humidity conditions and then measuring any changes in mechanical properties to give an indication of their durability. I'm leading the Seismic Performance Workstream for the SIPs project and what we'll be doing is testing the panels for bracing resistance as wall elements. This is very important because Wall bracing is the part of the building that essentially keeps buildings from collapsing during an earthquake or a high wind event. Our results will also allow us to see how SIP wall systems will perform in conjunction with more commonly used systems for walls in New Zealand. Fire safety in SIPs is another important aspect that we're considering for this project and as part of that we'll be doing a review of international and relevant New Zealand literature on fire performance of SIPs. This will allow us to identify gaps in the research and determine what additional investigation is necessary. If you'd like to find out more or get in touch with us, then head over to the Brands website.